One of the powerful features of Agent Force is that you as developer can extend its capabilities by bringing your own large language models. You do this with Model Builder. So with Model Builder, you can connect to various popular models like GPT, Claude, or Gemini hosted on AWS, GCP, or Azure, and then use them right within Agent Force. But what about other models hosted maybe somewhere else on different platform? The new LLM Open Connector lets you bring in any model you want. Hi, I'm Mohit. In this video, we'll learn how to bring in any model from your preferred provider into Salesforce using the all new LLM Open Connector. Let's dive right into it. So what is LLM Open Connector? LLM Open Connector is our API specification that we publish on GitHub that your model providers APIs can follow so that they can be connected to this model builder. Now let's take a look into the spec. So you can see that, you know, this currently we support chat completions. So chat completions APIs are pretty standard across different models and model providers. And this lets developers create conversational AI by sending messages to an AI and then getting responses and thereby enabling natural dialogue. And you can see that it has a certain request and the response structure. And you can, you can browse using this website here. Now, as long as you have an endpoint that adheres to this spec, Salesforce lets you bring in your model in the model builder. Now, there are a lot of providers who follow this spec because this is very standard. But let's say if a provider does not follow, you can build an endpoint that confirms to this specification. And then that endpoint, you can have code to make calls to your provider API. So it's sort of like a middleware. So let me show you how to build one of these endpoints. So this is Hugging Face where developers build large language models and open source. And this has chat completion support as well. And there are a lot of models that support this chat completion. So let's say I want to bring one of these models, for example, Mixtral into Salesforce Model Builder. So you can see that Hugging Face lets you deploy this model as inference API using the serverless inference for prototyping. Uh, and if you look at the, the APIs for this, it's a little different than the LLM open connector specification. So if we were to compare this hugging face specification to our LLM open connector specification, you will see a couple of differences. The first one is if you see the authentication, hugging face supports basic authentication, while LLM open connector follows the key based authentication. There's nothing wrong in both these approaches. It's just different. So that's the first difference. The second difference that you see here is the response and the request structure. Hugging face has a little different structure compared to this standard structure that we have in the LLM open connector. So what you could do as a developer is build a middleware application using the language of your choice and the frameworks of your choice, which confirms to the open LLM specification. And then that has an endpoint that can make a call out to your provider's API. In this case, it's the Hugging Face API. So you can see that he, this is a simple Node.js application that I've built. And what I'm doing here is setting up this endpoint. And here you can see what I'm doing in this uh, endpoint is simply taking the, the request and converting into a format that Hugging Face requires and make an API call to Hugging Face and then transform back into the response format that again confirms with the specification specified in the LLM open connector of Model Builder. So once we have all these, I deploy this application on Heroku and 
once I have this endpoint ready, now I can bring this model directly into my model builder. So let's see how. So here we are within the model builder. And if you click on this add foundation model, you will see we have all these foundation models, but now we let you also connect to your own LLM and bring in your own provider. So you can click on this and then say next. And here I can enter the name of my model. In this case, it's Mixtral uh, and the URL, which is my Heroku application and then provide the key. And then uh, optionally, you can provide the model name here and you can set your token limits and simply click on connect. So behind the scenes, it's testing the connection with the sample prompt. And you can see that it's successful. And now I can create a configuration for this model. So all I need is say new and you can see I can adjust the capabilities and uh, you know, at this point we only provide chat completion capability, but you can adjust the temperature settings of the model to see how much creative you want this model to be. And make sure that you actually test this configuration with maybe a simple prompt. Like for example, here I can say, write a welcome email for guest registration, something like this. And you can start generating to see if the model is responding correctly. Next, you save the model by providing the name. So here I am within Salesforce prompt builder that lets you build prompt against large language model and then use this either in embedded AI applications that you build on Salesforce or building agents in agent force by exposing these prompts as actions. Now here you can see that I have tested this prompt with uh, standard models that we provide. Now you can easily switch to custom model and you can see that same mixtural model that we generated through the model builder now available here for us to test this. So we simply go ahead and want to test this and you can see that we get the response from the mixtural model, which is our custom model in this case now. And you can also see that it still applies all of the security protection from the Einstein trust layer. So even with a custom model that you just brought into the model builder, all of our LLM interactions from Salesforce is still happening to that Einstein trust layer, giving that security benefits even with the custom model. Now here I'm an agent builder that lets you build agent. And you can see that I have an action generate personalized schedule. This action is using the same prompt template we just saw. And now I can ask for a personalized schedule for the contact Sophia Rodriguez. Now this action that's happening is using the mixed raw model, which is a custom model that we just brought in. And you can see that uh, using this model, it's gonna bring up the, the response and the mixture model can also do a bit of planning and the reasoning as uh, you can see from the response. Finally, you can also use these within the models API in Apex or REST API to get responses from your custom model. Like here you see, I'm using the, the custom mixture model that we just saw to generate an email requesting for a much uh, needed PDO. To summarize, you have seen how to build an endpoint using the LLM open connector to bring any model from the inference platform of your choice into Salesforce using the model builder. Now this allows you to take advantage of all of the security that comes with the Einstein trust layer and all of that audit and the feedback capabilities that we have, um, and also all of the native platform features that comes with our agent force tools, like for example, uh, agent force actions, you know, models API, prompt builder, and all of these features. Now to get started, we have an open source repo that provides recipes and cookbook. And all of the code that I used for this app and other examples here, is now available as recipe here. And this is a blog post that walks through 
all of the configuration steps that are required in the model builder uh, to bring in your own custom model. Now this resource slide has all of the link consolidated. So I hope uh, this is useful to you. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you have found it helpful. Thanks again.